guys so this is gonna be a different type of video for me I haven't done one of these in a while but this is going to be unboxing my new phone I haven't gotten a new phone since back in 2020 and so I haven't done one of these in a while but I'm gonna be unboxing my new Samsung s23 ultra today if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click that subscribe button below I upload three times a week Sunday Wednesday and Friday now let's get this open so this just came yesterday and I have been really excited to crack it open so I'm gonna tell this thing out and then I'm grabbing my phone this is so exciting you guys I haven't had a new phone since 2020 in the beginning of the pandemic so this is super exciting for me I got I got the Samsung s23 ultra in the color lavender so this is the box that it comes in so I think I just crack this open from here it looks like Okay, moment of truth. What is this? Oh, it's just the packaging. I thought it, this was like a phone case. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take out the phone. Very, very simple packaging. There's really nothing, a whole lot going on there. This is the phone. I just wanna see. Oh, this is the stuff that it comes with. So. This is probably like my charger and stuff, right? Just a Samsung booklet right there. Yeah, okay. So this is the pin to take out the SIM card and all of that stuff. I don't know where my SIM card is. I think maybe I just take it out of the phone that I have. I don't know because they made me pay an activation fee, Telus did. So they should have sent me a SIM card, but I'll kind of have a look through the box and see if I can find it. There's that. And then this is my new phone. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in slightly so we can just have a look at the phone and stuff up close. So this is what the phone looks like. I am in natural lighting today. I did want to film this on a sunny day. It's not sunny where I live. It's really smoky out today, so I'm trying my best with the lighting, but I did want to try to capture like the color that the phone is because I noticed that a lot of unboxings that I watched when I was trying to figure out what color this phone was because Telus actually didn't have this in the store so I couldn't actually see what it looked like and so I was trying to watch a bunch of videos here on YouTube to try to see what color the phone was and I noticed a lot of people filmed in like a dark room or like I couldn't accurately see the color so yeah I wanted to get you guys like good lighting you know natural lighting so you guys could see the color of the phone and the color that it's supposed to be this is very accurate to the color that it is I'm gonna pull off all of the stuff that I need to pull off well actually you know what I'm gonna keep that on I'm gonna keep that on until I put my screen cover on but that is the way the phone looks I haven't had a Samsung in years you guys so I I'm gonna try my best to, to turn this on. It's usually these two buttons, there we go. Oh, so I have to take this off because it's a black cover, okay. Okay, you guys, that's, this is why I don't do phone unboxings. Honestly, this is why, <laughs> this is why. This, so this is the accurate color of the back and stuff like that, but the front had like a, a black cover on top of it. <laughs> So I was like, why isn't it turning on? But that is the welcome screen that I get. So I'm gonna do a quick little setup of the phone and I'm gonna come back for you guys. But this is basically what the back of the phone looks like. This, these are the cameras that you get. I did buy a camera protector as well as a screen protector and I ordered a bunch of phone cases and stuff from AliExpress. 
that I'm waiting for. I don't know when they're gonna come. I had to order some from Amazon just because I got this phone like so quickly from TELUS. It came within like a couple days, but I am so excited to start filming vlogs for you guys with this camera because it just, it's such an upgrade from the one that I have and it's gonna look amazing. I love the camera that I have on my Huawei, but like, Look at this, it does, it does not compare to this. So yeah, I am super excited to finally have this phone and have an upgrade and use it and all of that. So I'll be right back after I do the little setup. One hour later. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I ended up having to buy some card for this at TELUS for like $20. So I put that in last night and I have it pretty much all set up for the most part. So I haven't activated my SIM card yet. That's why it says emergency calls only. That's the only thing I haven't really done. The SIM card actually goes in here and it was a little bit tricky. Let's see if my camera will focus on it. Okay, so it was a little bit tricky to actually put my SIM card in here for some reason. I don't know if it's because of my nails or something like that, but it was a little bit tricky to put it in and the metal part of the SIM card actually has to face upward. And I don't know, like it was just an issue for me last night. So I finally got the SIM card in, that's all good. I did put this phone case on here. I got this from Amazon. It was kind of like a like prime fast delivery kind of phone case because I wanted to use my phone and I was a little bit worried that my AliExpress cases and stuff wouldn't come in time. So I did put this one on and it's actually pretty sturdy and really nice. It was only $10. I also did add a camera protector. I think that's super important. And my screen cover sucks. <laughs> As you guys can tell, there's a lot of air bubbles happening. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys what to avoid on Amazon. If you are looking for a screen protector, don't get this one because it is not a tempered glass one. I definitely prefer my tempered glass screen protectors because I'm always a super active person. I'm always hiking and I drop my phone sometimes on rocks and stuff like that. So this is not gonna be that good. So I'm gonna hopefully you know, survive this weekend with my phone and try to not drop it or anything like that. This cover actually covers quite a bit of the phone. So it does have like a, a nice layer over the screen, which is nice, this actual cover. And I think that it's, it's a really good sturdy one. It's just the screen cover is not great. So I do have to do a few more things on this phone as far as setting it up. Let me just unlock it. As far as setting it up, I do have a software update that it's telling me to update, but I just need to, you know, customize it to my own devices, add some apps and stuff like that. I did try the smart switch from my Huawei, but I don't think it did a really good job really. It did like, you know, add in my messages and my contacts as well as sign into Google for me and that sort of thing, but it didn't add any of my apps or anything like that. And I will need to work on that. I'm gonna look at my gallery. So it did add a few photos from my Huawei on here, which is nice. So smart switch is, you know, pretty good, but I didn't also wanna fill up my phone and add in all of my photos because I have like 200 something gig of photos on that phone. So I'm trying to save space on this phone for now, even though it's like 500 gig, but I feel like that's gonna go pretty fast if I'm using this to vlog and stuff like that. I am super annoyed at the screen cover on this. Like do not buy this Amazon one. It's cheap and it's not good. The only good thing about it is it did come with the what is it called? The camera cover, which was nice. But all in all, that is what my phone looks like. That is what it looks like with the case and everything. I do recommend this one case that I found on AliExpress. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I did buy this with my own money. I did find it myself and I think it's really good as well. It's uh, less sturdier than the Amazon one. It does have the built-in camera cover. So I don't know if you can tell, but there is a camera cover built right into this. So it's super nice. And yeah, this one was really cheap. I think it was only $5 or something like that. 
I will mention that the phone doesn't really come with anything special. It did come with the cable that looks like this. It didn't come with a wall charger or headphones, anything like that. It didn't come with any accessories except for this. It does come with the pen, just like the Note phones had like back in the day. So I haven't taken that out yet. I don't even know how I'm gonna take it out with these nails, <laughs> but there's that. I think you guys can see where the SIM card is inserted right there. There's like a little hole right there, but be careful because this one is the mic and then that one is a SIM card. So I did have to watch a couple videos on how to eject the SIM tray and stuff like that. But other than that, the setup and stuff on this one was pretty simple. I am going from Android to Android, so you know, it wasn't bad at all. But yeah, overall, I am very excited to be, you know, working with this phone, doing some vlogs and stuff like that with this one. And you guys will see it in action for sure on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for future vlogs and stuff like that. I am still filming with my Huawei for now until I get this one set up completely. I might kind of do back and forth between this and my Huawei depending on how I like the camera quality and stuff like that but I am definitely going to be taking both phones with me and yeah that is all for this video I do hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click that subscribe button below I upload three times a week Sunday Wednesday and Friday and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I'll let you need,